Welcome to Electron Line. Now let's talk a little bit more about viscosity. It turns out there are two different kinds of viscosity. It's almost like they're trying to confuse everybody. But actually there's a reason why there's two. There's a dynamic and a kinematic viscosity. So let's take a look at both of these. First of all, let's start with dynamic viscosity. It is typically used to define simply the viscosity of a fluid. How viscous is a fluid? Well, we have what we call a coefficient of viscosity and we use the letter mu for that. And the units are pascals times seconds. Remember, when we uh, break that down, a pascal is a newton per meter squared, because it's units of pressure, times seconds. And a newton, uh, well, that's units of force, which would be kilograms, meters per second squared, uh, times seconds, divided by meters squared. And if we simplify that, this cancels out with that, that cancels out with that, we end up saying seeing that the units, pascals times seconds, is the same as kilograms per meter times seconds. So those are the units for what we call dynamic viscosity. Notice that for water at 20 degrees centigrade, the viscosity is 0 0.001002 pascal times seconds, or kilogram meters per second. More oil, and of course there's different kinds of more oil, is approximately 0 0.250. So you can see that the viscosity of more oil on average is about 250 times as viscous as the viscosity of water at 20 degrees. We will also see later on that the viscosity changes with temperature and depending upon what kind of fluid we're dealing with, typically with liquids as the temperature goes up, the viscosity goes down. With gases as the temperature goes up, the viscosity tends to go up and we'll see that in some later videos. In CGS units, we also can say that the units are in poise. That comes from Poiseuil, that was the, the physicist that also dealt a lot with uh, fluid flow and viscosity and so forth. So we named the unit of viscosity after Poiseuil. And so one Poiseuil is 0.1 Pascal times seconds. And centipoise is used quite a bit. Notice that one centipoise then would be 0.001 Pascal times seconds, which means that the uh, the viscosity of water is roughly one centipoise. Kinematic viscosity is used to define the flow in a pipe and the way it's defined is that it's actually the dynamic viscosity divided by the density of the fluid. Let's see what those units look like. So again, the uh, dynamic viscosity is pascals times seconds and density is kilograms per cubic meter. Well that simplifies to, remember that the numerator will simplify to kilogram divided by meter times seconds and since we're dividing by a fraction the same as multiplying by its inverse that would be times meters cubed divided by kilograms notice then that the kilograms cancel out one of the meters cancels out and so we're left with units of meter squared divided by seconds so that would be that would be the units of what we call kinematic viscosity now it turns out if we rewrite those units, something interesting will happen. So if we write this as meter times meters per second, notice that this is the units of length and this is the units of velocity, so that would then imply that the units of kinematic viscosity is the same as the product of the length times the velocity. So it's kind of interesting when you think about that. And also remember in the previous video, we ended up multiplying the viscosity constant by L times V divided by L times V to get units of force. So again, there's some interesting relationship there. Anyway, the SI units for kinematic viscosity is meters squared divided by seconds. And the CGS units is in terms of Stokes. Again, we want to honor, uh, honor Stokes for developing so much of these theories. And so therefore we have a CGS unit for kinematic viscosity in terms of Stokes. One Stoke is one square centimeter divided by second or 10 to minus four square meters divided by second. And a centis Stoke, well, that would be roughly the, the what we call kinematic viscosity of water 20 degrees centigrade. So we take the viscosity divided by the density of water, which is a thousand kilograms per cubic meter. So we take 0.001. Uh, divided by 1,000, and we end up with 10 to the minus 6, which is 1 centi stoke. Kind of interesting uh, how that works out. But that gives you a quick review of the two different kinds of viscosities, how their units play out, and some reference to some things that we're familiar with. And so now we're ready to start using these. Before we do that, we probably want to take a look at some 
other relationships between temperature and viscosity as well as the viscosity of different materials and then we start applying it to some good examples to see if you understood what we've talked about so far. Anyway, that's what we have so far.